Hi, it's Mrs. Franklin here. How are you doing today? I hope you had a chance to watch Mrs. Pernanda's video where she read The Day the Babies Crawled Away by Peggy Rathman. Peggy Rathman is a Caldecott Medal winner, which means that her drawings were so good that she won an amazing award for it. Today's projects are based on her drawings. They're called silhouette drawings. That's when you can see the outline or the shape of something that's all black and the background is really bright colors. I hope you enjoy it. Today's a little different. We have two videos. I wanted to get so much in. I couldn't fit it in one. I made you two. I hope you love it. Let's get started. For the first project today, we're gonna to do a watercolor work. We need watercolor set, a heavier paper like a watercolor paper or cardstock, a brush, some paper towels, and a jar of water to clean our brush. We're also gonna need a black crayon for this project. If you remember in the story, Throughout the book, throughout the illustrations, there was a nice little caterpillar that kept coming and visiting all the pages and following the babies as they crawled away. So for this one, we're gonna draw a little caterpillar. So let's give the caterpillar some place to live. Let's see here. Maybe we're gonna keep a little branch and it's gonna come out. Maybe it goes this way. And then maybe the branch comes off this way. Maybe we have just a little leaf at the end of this branch or something. The branches are thick, so we're gonna make it a little thicker. We're gonna make it a little thicker. And if we wanna add a couple more leaves, we can do that. Maybe one down here. Now we're gonna color in this really dark. In the book, all the illustrations were done in something called silhouette. Silhouette is when the subject is dark and in shadow, kind of, or you just see the outline because the background is so bright and colorful. Pressing hard because I want to fill this in nice and dark. Coloring in the leaves, too. If you don't like the shape of your leaves here, that's when you can kind of change them a little, make your lines a little thicker, a little thinner. So now I have my branch and I have some nice little leaves on there. I'm gonna attach that one. Now we're gonna make our caterpillar. Our caterpillar is pretty fun. You're just gonna make a row of circles. So I draw a circle. I'm going to fill it in. Right next to that one, I'm going to do another circle and I'm going to fill it in. Now you can decide how long your caterpillar is. Or maybe your caterpillar is going up and back down again. It's kind of up to you. I'm just going to make mine crawling along the branch. And I'm going to make one more for its head here. I'm going to give it some antenna and I'm going to go down and make sure it has legs. Caterpillars have lots of legs. I'm going to give it lots of legs, a few for each. You can't see all of them where it touches the branch. You can't really see them too well, but up here you can see them a little bit better. All right. I think I'm all set. Now we're ready for the next part of our project. I could keep filling it in and get all of those white spots out, but I think you get the idea. All right, I'm gonna put my black crayon aside and I'll open up my paint box. Now, in the, pro in the book, the colors were really bright and they were different in every single page. I think I'm gonna make this one kind of like a sunset. So I'm going to start with a light yellow at the bottom and I'm going to work it bright darker at the top. So I'm going to start with yellow and I'm going to get lots of water on this. I want my watercolors to be able to move around a little bit. So I'm going to start with some yellow. And the cool thing about crayons is they are made out of wax and wax and water don't really get along too well. They kind of push each other off to the side. So the wax isn't going to let the water of the watercolor sit on top. It's gonna to push it off a little. 
and you get to do something kind of fun. And we're about to get there now. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I really want these colors to blend together. Now watch what happens, I'm gonna go right over it. Do you see all of that just push off? And you can still see the drawing, even though I'm painting right over it, you can still see the branch and the water and the caterpillar and all the leaves. And I just painted right over the top of that. Add a little bit more water. I'm gonna add some red to my sunset. I'm gonna add a little bit more water, clean my brush, and I switch to this bright pink. I think this bright pink will look nice at the top of my painting. Lots of water. I'm gonna keep going and get it all nice and filled in. Now I can see my paper starting to curl. Watercolor paper does that because it's sucking in all of the water on the top and the bottom is dry. So that's dry and it's trying to keep up with it. A way that you can help is since you have the black right here, you can take your finger and you can press down right here and hold your paper down if you want. I want to keep filling this in till I have my paper all the way filled in. I'm going to make it a little darker at the top. I can. I can just add more color. Maybe I want to add a little bit more orange in places and kind of let those colors just see what happens when they blend together. Let's see. Let's add a little orange over here. Just play with these colors and see what they do. It's really fun to watch them kind of blend one into the other, and the water's going to do that. Just add a little water sometimes, and they'll start to blend a little bit more. So there we have it. We're going to let this dry. And I'll show you a picture after it's done. But here it is now. All of the color got pushed off of the black branch and the black caterpillar. Kind of fun silhouette painting. Our painting's all dry now, and I wanted to show you how it looked once it dried. If you notice, you can actually still see a little of the paint on top of the crayon. Sometimes it just sits there a little bit. If you want to get rid of that, you can take a paper towel, just kind of wipe it away. This is called burnishing, and it will also make your crayon shiny. So I've just wrapped the paper towel around my finger and I'm rubbing on top of where the crayon is. If I rub over where the color is, it's gonna smudge. So I just wanna rub where just the crayon is. And it's gonna wipe away that extra watercolor and make your crayon a little bit cleaner. See? Finished project. You can do it with a caterpillar if you'd rather, you can do a different kind of a scene. I worked on one earlier and I made it a night scene. So I just drew a tree and I used blues and dark blues. You could draw a white crayon to make stars if you want. That would work too. It would leave little white dots. It's a really fun project.